Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we finished a timeline where we had Fortinbras arrested, but they also escaped because people died, chaos ensued, and so Fortinbras agents came to let them out. And then we ended up getting invaded on Sunday like usual. For this timeline, I'm just going to focus on something. Let's focus on perhaps Claudia's coming undone. Because it seems like we progressed this really far. There's so many updates in here, but we didn't finish it. So this happened because Gertrude died. When Gertrude dies, Claudius comes undone. We can talk with them as they mourn their wife in the chapel. Um, and if I want to see this to the end, that I want to make sure that Claudius doesn't die. An issue that I'll run into with that is that Laertes will want to kill Claudius if Polonius dies, I believe. So I think I need to keep Polonius alive so Laertes doesn't come back and kills them. I think that's how I can keep them alive. So. Step one. I need to make sure our father doesn't die, and I need to make sure Gertrude dies. A good way to do that is talk to our father and tell them stay away from Hamlet. What's wrong with Hamlet? Is this the one? I'm not sure exactly which one I have to say for it to happen. What you said in my bedroom wasn't my doing. Hamlet burst into my room and it costed me. He's out of his mind. His clothing was torn completely out of sorts. What? Hmm. That. Hmm. I. What if he were a danger to you? Danger to me? Does that do it? I feel like there's another option I need to do. Have I ever told Polonius about the king's poison cache? I either told Polonius before, or I told Bernardo. I don't remember who. But perhaps I should get rid of that too. Poison. Oh god, above! I think we did tell Polonius before. This is ringing a bell. Yeah, I'll investigate it later. So that seems like a good thing. I don't have any particular reason to do that, but also no particular reason not to do it. So do I not have to say anything else about Hamlet? Oh, my father's murder. Ah, this is the one. Please. Please believe me. Hamlet is going to make an attempt on your life. Okay, so this will make them wary of Hamlet. Hmm. Please do not believe you should be wary of Hamlet. And they also think that I'm losing my mind. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> That should also ensure that Hamlet and Gertrude kill each other, which is what I need. Well, I need at least Gertrude's death for King Claudius. The... What's... Oh, the event that's going to be happening here is Polonius checking for the poison. I guess King, Cla King Claudius will be gone at that point? They better be, father. Otherwise, it might be a little bit suspicious. What the heck do I do now? Just wait, I guess? All oh, right, they come back to tell us. I found it. I mm -hmm. see. Dumped it out upon Water. the floor. Poison's been stopped, but not the man. We're both far too small to raise a coup. Oh, does this make them immediately go burn the notes, by the way? Well, it doesn't seem like it. Hey, Hammy. Just come to the graveyard at night where Polonius mourns their wife, our mother. I haven't done this in a while, and I think there might be new things to talk about or things that I just never talked about with Polonius before. Because I get the sense that they'll be more open to talking about their wife, our mother, uh, right now as they're mourning them rather than normally they're pretty cagey about it. So let's try asking some things, see if they seem new. Father. 
I want to talk about the way Mother died, and about the doghouse where her belongings might be. Ah. I see. So someone must have told you. I'm really quite sorry for that. It was the sort of terrible news I'd planned to tell you when you were older. Well, you're older now, and you deserve to know. As does your brother when he returns. How could you? I would never have wanted you to keep that from me. Even if it hurt to tell me, I deserve to know. Ophelia. You're right. And yet, the heart works in strange ways, doesn't it? I told myself it was easier to bury it, to never speak of it. As though if I did that, it wouldn't be true. What an old fool I am. Some of her things are still in the doghouse. Won't you help me see them? Ah, Ophelia, that house is still used sometimes to house victims of illness. You mustn't. The last thing I need is to lose you. Going in there is incredibly dangerous. Oh, so that doesn't go anywhere. Mm. Father. Queen Astrid, have we asked about them before? That's a name I'd sworn not to speak again. This seems familiar. I want to see what happens if I mention the Fortinbras hideout to Polonius before I mentioned it to Bernardo. Father. I have proof of Fortinbras' plan to betray Denmark. He's hiding out in Castletown. What? This is the proof I know you've been searching for, Father. We must seize this fast, or we will all be conquered. The war is coming to our front. Believe me. I... I believe it. But I must also verify it. Then send soldiers into town. He and his officers are hiding in disguise near the tavern, in a small apartment. Alas, I don't have the authority to propose such a move alone. I must consult with Bernardo and his majesty. Luckily, such a meeting can easily be arranged. The war council will congregate as soon as we're able to, in the king's personal chambers. Am I... may I be permitted to witness it? Under ordinary circumstances, absolutely not. No women are permitted to attend to matters of war. And the king must not know this tip came from you, else you'll be unlikely to believe it. However, given that you seem to have been particularly interested in this matter lately, perhaps there's a way. Join us outside the king's quarters and I'll see what we might do. I wonder if the meeting is going to be any different. Polonius is probably going to take the lead on talking to the king rather than Bernardo. So that might be a little bit different. What's our timeline looking like? Castle guard guards are up to no good bastards. <laughs> War council is assembled right after this. Let's go there then. Oh, here we go. Ophelia. Captain. What? His, oop, I skipped that. Um, his majesty would certainly not appreciate me allowing a lady of the court into a meeting like this. <laughs> And if I promise to stay concealed? This is important, Bernardo. I won't give myself away, I promise. I don't know what this is all about, but given you seem rather intent, I'll permit it this one time. Make no noise or word. Hmm. Is Polonius not even here? My Seems Lord. the same so far. Something like this should be simple to verify. This is the same. Uh, yeah, this is the same so far. It seems pretty much the same. It doesn't seem uh, to matter who I tell. Okay, but this will give me a chance to actually see the event of Fortinbras getting arrested, which I missed before. Right, we have two events. One is where Bernardo and his men form a plan of attack. And a little bit later, they search for Fortinbras. The issue before is that I, because all the guards were busy searching for Fortinbras, and I think they locked the gate or something like that, I couldn't get out. So let's just go to the town right now, beforehand, and just hang out. Gates locked? OK, 
Okay. How do I... How do I get out then? There must be a way to get out. Maybe in between the search and the men forming a plan of attack, Cygnus will be here. The gate's locked. Bullshit! Someone just went through it! Now Cygnus is talking? I guess they're hanging out inside the well or something? Yelling up? Because I don't know where they are. Mm, and then they're like, yes, okay, you can go through. Okay. Ah, the play. No thank you. Don't want to miss it. Uh, here we go. Knock on every door. If the occupants refuse, Force entry. My lord. We found some. Hmm. Who are you? Marcellus, remove his hood. As I thought, you are the singular Prince Fortinbra. Yes. And you are here with the intent of usurping the King of Denmark. Hmm. Indeed, I came to do what my father could not. You killed my finest officers, good men of large standing. I know not how you found us, but it would appear I have been summarily outmatched. <laughs> we received a tip from Lady Ophelia here. She knew you would be in town. I have heard tell of this Lady Ophelia before. Who is she? I'm the one you were going to have killed. Not anymore. Men, take him to the dungeon. I shall work with the king on how best to proceed. What have the dogs stiffed, sniffed out now? Okay, is this indifferent? A hair in our trap and a fat one at that. <laughs> Young Prince Fortinbra, welcome to Elsinore. Had I but one more day, our positions would have been exchanged here, Denmark. <laughs> yes, well, you didn't, and they aren't. What shall I do with you now? Perhaps write to your uncle and ransom you back in chains? Okay, this, yeah, I think we've seen this. Yeah. Yes. Uh. I just had the thought of, what if I steal the poison from Claudius's room? Could I somehow give it to Fortinbra and kill them? Any new dialogue here? Shall not remain so... Uh, yeah, that's not new. Like I expected, Hamlet and Gertrude ended up killing each other. Claudius uh, went to the chapel, and then we met them there, and then ended up soothing them to sleep, and now we're in their room again. So... I can do one thing in here, it seems. Large urns where the poison is. Now there's no poison, because in this timeline it's been gotten rid of. We've read this note to Claudius, so that seems to only leave whatever this is. Is this a drawer inlaid into the table? Oh, what is this? A sonnet for Gertrude. My glass shall not persuade me I am old, so long as youth and thou are one of date. But when in thee time's furrows I behold, then look, I death my days should expiate. For all that beauty that doth cover thee is but the seemingly raiment of my heart, which is thy breast, which in thy breast doth live as thine in mine. How can I then be elder than thou art? O oh, therefore, love, be of thyself so wary, as I, not for myself, but for thee, will, bearing thy heart, which I will keep so... cherry? 
as tender nurse or babe from faring ill. Presume not on thy heart when mine is slain. Thou gavest me thine not to give back again. It was quite difficult for me to read. Ophelia? You're surprised? I think I'm more surprised because you're literally inside of me. Can you please stop phasing through me? I'm also curious if anything different would happen if I didn't read anything in the room. If I didn't touch anything, would something different happen? Oh, sorry. I was just trying to leave without waking you. I see. Okay. Now, Claudius, if you could just please not die. Can you do that for me? What event is happening in there? The heck are you doing? What event did just happen in there? Nobody else was in there. Maybe if I don't do anything, I can witness that event. Hmm. I'm very curious. Okay, yeah, so my singular goal right now is to try to keep Claudius alive and see where this can go. Remember Claudius said that they would send somebody for me later? Whoop. Oh, they just left. I guess I just pass time? Yeah, I suppose so. Whoa. What's up? Nice talk. I just want to look out for any event in here. What are Irma and the ladies doing in Castletown streets? I haven't seen that before. It's still going on. I might make it. How's the rest of it go? You stood with a sudden brilliance, goddess, before me. You asked me what I suffered. Who was my cause of anger? That's going so fast. Chill. Ophelia. I've returned. Oh no, you're not going to go kill Claudius, are you, Laertes? About everything happening back here. Uh huh. I'm safe. There's work to be done, and I intend to act it's swiftly. Father wrote me a letter. He explained everything about Hamlet's attempt on his life. I doubt that Hamlet could have acted alone. Oh, don't tell me. And what do you intend to do about it? I have to imagine Hamlet acting against Father was not his own doing. Someone spurred him. I intend to raise arms against this sea of troubles. I heard about the circumstances around Hamlet's death. Come back to understand and sort through what's left. You know where to find me if you need me. Learn about a future event in which Laertes makes a request of Bernardo. Okay. Wait, the ladies are still doing an event? Oh, right. Ophelia, I mean, the Laertes thing was totally separate. Ah, uh... I feel like I should talk with them right now. Uh, hold on. Unlikely for Laertes to make a request of Bernardo. Why is that unlikely? Hmm. Is there something I can tell Bernardo to make them chill? I don't know, maybe if I tell him that Brit is a spy? Maybe they'll just be preoccupied with that? I don't know. Sorry, Brit. You did try to kill me in multiple timelines, so I don't feel that bad. Stop. Oh. Wait. Where is it? Is it not here anymore? Okay. Can I tell Bernardo anything up? About Laertes? 
Wait, Bernardo, where are you at? You're up here? What are you doing here? None of these seem to have anything to do with Laertes. Laertes wants to ask Brit something sensitive. Wait, is that the spy thing? Did the... I think I triggered the spy dialogue because I tried to talk to Laertes about it, even though the dialogue didn't actually pop up. That must be why it disappeared from the list of possible things to talk about. It triggered, but just didn't play because I caught them when they were, like, transitioning between scenes or something. Okay. I want to... I want to follow you. Laertes is upset now. What this? Ophelia. I owe you an I'm apology. Sorry? For putting you in danger until now? Laertes relayed your fears to me. And at first I did not believe them. Please come with me. Oh, is this about Brit? See the announcement. No. no. Yeah, yeah, that was about. Okay. That did a hell of a lot of things. Brit has been imprisoned. Brit is a spy. But I was going to question Brit. Yep, I'm not really interested in that. I do want to follow you. Don't kill Claudius. I need them. For a quest, you fucker. Ophelia. There you are. There's something important we need to discuss with father. Mm-hmm. Brit. Lady Brit has been uncovered as a traitor to the court, thanks to Ophelia. But this has dealt me a devastating blow. <sighs> I'm not certain what the two of you knew, but I loved her. I think we've seen this as well, but quite a long time ago, so I barely remember it. Hmm. Now suddenly that dream is gone to be with Brit. She wanted to kill Ophelia. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's really hard on them. Nothing left for them here. I never desire to return to Elsinore again, and I know not why we linger here. Ah, oh, right, they just want to go. Please do go. <laughs> Please go so you don't end up killing Claudius. My son. Hmm. Of course. I'm needed here. I cannot in good conscience leave. Ah, I remember Polonius is very very pointedly says without without good evidence, without clear concrete evidence that my services are not wanted. I cannot in good conscience leave, which feels to me like a little nudge, nudge, wink, wink, if I have some evidence, which I might. I'm not sure. If you have some proof to the contrary, I'll gladly hear it. So I can't talk to Laertes because they're upset. Do I have any proof? I don't... I don't think I have any proof in the form of hearsay that I can say. Hmm. Nah. Where are you going, Laertes? Just to stand around? Good. Good, healthy, productive activity, I think. Not killing King Claudius, I mean. I've tried going to King Claudius. Is there anything I can say to them? Oh, they're upset. But not shattered, so they'll recover tomorrow. So I can't speak with them, yeah.
back to following you. Where are you going? To your room. Cool. How about you sleep? Have a nice nap. Go to sleep. I think it's officially the next day. Oh, this is Sunday, so this is the last day, too. Something's happened. What happens? Ah. Right. Oh, was it Laertes that killed Brit? I think that might have been them. That's fine. Just don't kill Claudius. Is there anything I can talk to you about? I feel like I shouldn't be saying something, but rather just wait for them to come to me, but it is Sunday. We don't have that much time left, but I guess I'll just keep waiting. Damn, they just sat here for hours. Nobody coming or going. Oh, that's... New. Whoa. Jesus. Obviously the invasion has started, but I've never seen it from here. It's just inside the doors of the hall. We're Prince Fortinbrav, Norway. I don't think there's any reason to really hear this. Day is one before you have carried forth. Prince oh, Fortinbrav liked you better in our dungeon. Uh, die then. Stabby, stabby. Stabbed with an invisible sword, how insulting. Not even existent. Go. Bid the soldiers shoot. How curious. Wait, so are you gonna kill me now? Some noble element of Elsinore remains, massacres aside. Uh, and what will you do with me? Hmm. What is done to all houses who fall from grace? Exile. Certainly it is no longer safe for you in Denmark. Many of your noblemen have turned to my allegiance, and as a lady of this court, you represent the old ways. We will not feed you to their dripping fangs. They offer a far worse fate. But I'm still alive, even though they're all... Does that mean it's over? No. Something feels off. Wrong. It's as if... Oh, that's so interesting. A strange yanking sensation rips me back through time. Something is keeping me here so strongly it will rip me back, even if I don't die. Back at the beginning again. <sighs> what? Okay, so... I think what I'm gonna do this time is do the Claudius thing again, spending time with him. But this time, don't snoop around their chamber. Just hang out, I guess? Okay, back here again in their chambers. So I don't want to snoop around, unless there's something new that I have missed to snoop into. No, we've seen that, we've seen that, we've seen that. So... I want to see what event happens in here on their own. Yeah, like, a chosen event's about to happen. Is something going to be different if I just don't snoop around? They won't be suspicious? I, feel you. I thought you'd gone. If you'd like to return to your chambers, you're free to go. Uh. -huh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. That didn't do what I expected it to do. How do I progress this quest? The Claudius coming undone. When I found Claudius, he was a sodden wreck out of his mind with grief. And then he asked if I would stay with him as he slept. A duty his wife used to perform. I'm not sure I like where this is headed. I'll try to pursue the matter further. After all, I need only turn back the flow of time and it'll be as though it never happened. For everyone but me, of course.
Do I need to tell them no, I will not go with you to your chambers? Like, do I need to try that? Ah, oh, hold on. Now then. I was just following the king, and they went to an event in their chambers with Polonius. Is this the one where Polonius gets poisoned? Mind you, I've had the poison. Uh, I've had Polonius specifically find and destroy the poison in this urn, or around this urn, wherever it is. So what's going to happen here? So Laertes is staying in Elsinore indefinitely, at least for the time being. What are your thoughts on the matter? Yes. At first I was concerned, but now I find something rather timely in it. Well, the mood has certainly shifted in the castle suddenly, don't you think? So much has happened in such a short time. Hmm. I see. Huh. Do you often play chess? Okay, this should be very interesting. What is going to happen? <laughs> of course, of course. Hmm. Go and get that drink. Mm hmm. Uh. Don't like to play sober. But of course, but of course. Okay, so this is going to make Polonius realize that the king tried to kill them. I wonder if Polonius is going to react, if the king is going to react, or if they're just going to play it cool. What? That that vial. Where is it? <sighs> Something amiss, my lord. No. Uh, nothing at all. Only... You must excuse me, Polonius. I've just remembered I promised to meet with someone here in a moment. Mm. It's a private meeting. Mm. I, I see. I'll take my leave, then. Yes, I think that's wise. Who ransacked my personal belongings? Someone must know about me, about my brother. King Claudius now believes that the king's poison stash has been emptied. I shouldn't be here. You'll find me. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So Polonius knew what was happening there, right? They must. Are they going to come to me, or should I go to them? How do I bring it up? Hmm. I don't think I can, so if they're going to talk about it, it's going to be in an event. And then the invasion happens. Okay, I just found something quite odd. Um, I was just messing around. I told Polonius uh, that Claudius killed old King Hamlet, poisoned them. They became very irate and wouldn't talk with me anymore. They became upset. And then I just hung on their chambers wondering if they would still burn the notes. And they did, of course, as they always do. <laughs> That's where I'm at now, where they just burn the notes. But I was looking around... And I looked at these messy papers on the desk. I don't know if I've looked at them before, but I guess if the person is in the room with you, then when you look at something, you talk to the person. It's not just your internal monologue, which seems to be what happens when nobody else is in the room. How do you find anything on a desk this messy? What do you mean? It's organized precisely the way I like it. And it won't pop up now because I already discovered it, but there was a letter that we found on the desk popped up and it was basically Laertes saying something about how their their loot, their instrument, the loot went missing and they think that Hamlet stole it. And they said, don't be afraid to get Bernardo involved if you have to. I'd love it if you could get the loot back. Thanks, father. Signed, Laertes. And it actually added it as a lead. It's actually a whole freaking lead. I found a note from my brother discussing a loot he believes was stolen. He thinks Hamlet made off with it. Laertes and Hamlet have always had a contentious relationship, to say the least. I wonder if I can help resolve this situation. So, I can think of three things to do. Go to Hamlet's place, see if it's just there. Talk to Hamlet, 
or talk to Bernardo, as the note mentioned. Let's go check Hammy's room.